Hi guys, me and Japan Al here, and today I have Boris Moylan, the sergeant I made in my kit bash in my last video. So today I'll be painting him in the scheme of the snow walls. Let's get straight into it. Hope you like it, like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you want. Let's get straight into it. Let's so, in today's video, we'll be doing a painting my Sergeant Boris Morzo of the Snow Wolves. He will be the first official Grey Knight of the of the um whole school of the whole um chapter. So, I start with a dry brush of white mixed it with pure white mixed in with Mummy Rose of the, of the Army Painter War Paint range. I start with that. Do a little clean up. Keep dry brushing on those little areas I have missed. Took his arms off to get in better locations to get it all nice good cover. Then I've gone in with the, with this with a bit of um skeleton bone to do the skulls on his chest and belt buckle. Then I've gotten a bit of uniform grey that started on his robe. Well, his coat. Yeah, his coat. As I'm doing this, I'm looking at it, and this was what signifies him as a grey wolf, an older an older unit of the um of the snow wolves, but more intelligent and has more combat experience. Boris has been has has over 150 years of combat experience with the Snow Wolves. Also, his backpack fell off along with him falling off his base by his foot. I really do need to get that off, but other than that, I continue painting. The Snow the Snow Wolves are a incredibly good task force alone for Blizzard warfare. They specialize in as their planet Glador is a blizzarding world, with only very few areas of at times where there are clearings big enough to get a spaceship on or off the world. In doing so, they are quite isolated, but due to that, creatures of Glador are massive, muscle-bound beasts. Majority of them holding massive amount of hide and meat. Which Glidorians use for sustenance and living. They also use the hides and things for trade when they can get off the planet. They are quite an ex they're quite an extraordinary subgroup of space marines and all kinds of soldiers. They're soldiers performing from guardsmen, sisters of battle. And of course, Space Marines of the Snow Wolves and any other range that wish to do. Join them after they complete being blooded. Now, here in the video, you can see me using tanned flesh for Boris's head. I'm not very good with this type of paint. I haven't tried the tanned flesh, but it, it turned out all right in the end. Bit more between the um, Boris's legs of his coat, so it's not all dark down there. Now I continue with the head. Here I am just getting different pieces of me just different metal. I've used gun metal on his um controls on the side of his head. I forget what they are called, but that is what I used them for. Then I went around with a clean up and fix up of any white spots that um, may have been disturbed or damaged during the painting process of the um, uniform grey. Here I am painting the, bat the grenades on his belt and his chest. Doing a little bit of a mixture for the um different type of grenades 
you will see the range of paints that all the paints I use today in this video in the at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that, and you'll be able to, if you want to copy this, you can. I do have a tendency to move my hand off screen. My hands off screen. I've got to get better at that, but at this current time, I haven't gotten that completely right. Here uh, you can see me painting all the metallic parts of the of the um jetpack. Painting his belt black. Here I am painting his um plasma pistol and arm. Just giving them little details and all that, making it look nice. I'm even going to try um, glowing plasma effect. I've never tried it before and succeeded, so this will be an interesting one. Along with that, I do a um, shiny silver trim line on the shoulder pads. I do paint the skull on the backpack. Here I'm painting the other arm and the grenade in its hand. I do tend to put a lot of grenades in um in my projects, even considering that the chest plate of the the abdomen plate of the of my newer models have grenades in them to add a filler of space. I do enjoy painting miniatures personally. Here I am doing the back of the feet of these boots. And yes, I do enjoy painting miniatures. This project took me about mm, two hours, if I remember correctly, to, rec to the raw recording, the raw footage. It was two hours or something I did with it. But I got carried away in the moment, so it was quite enjoyable though. Here I am just cleaning up my brushes. I'm doing a quick clean up of certain things, putting them away and all, arranging my paints correctly. Got it back out because I, I remembered to do the plasma effect, so here I am doing that. Probably not the best for a first time, but as, I, as everyone says, practice makes perfect, so I will be using it more. Here I use a dark tone wash. Yeah, I do use my skin to test out the spraying of my airbrush. It is um, quite an effective way, except for it's a bit messy. I should probably get gloves. Yeah, I probably should, but I won't at this time. Also, be ready for my um, upcoming video of Sister of Decay video I'm making. It should be up in about a week to this one releasing. If not, well, I will have probably had technical difficulties or all sorts. Here it is, the dark tone wash. As you can see, it turns the white to a dark to a nice grey, which gives the it gives 
And Boris here's grey knight, his grey wolf look. And due to that, I do a quick little stream, just clean up of the base. And now it'd be time for the... Yeah, I'm just fixing up the parts of that chip and all that. I will eventually get down to the plasma. I'm just letting the paint dry there. Here I am doing the plasma. Oh, not, no, I'm doing his head. Here I am doing his plasma. I'm using a green plasma because I thought it would look better than um, blue. Plus it gives a bit more of a distinction of, between factions. And I like the colour green. Turned out alright. Probably should have whited the tips of it, but I didn't. We'll probably do that next time. Other than that, quite enjoyed this project. It's quite fun and enjoyable for just an afternoon in hobbying. Yeah, just doing a quick tidy up of the dark wash, clean up, all sorts of things. Here I get a varnish out, so I can seal in the paint and the... Do, what did you cast I place on him? I have realised I did lose a unit number on it, but I could probably just replace that someday. When I remember, or not. But yes. Coming close to the um, end here. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It has been a blast. Here he is. I apologize for the glare. With the light, I probably should turn it down. I would be double checking that in the next videos. Here are the paints I've used. And hope you enjoyed today's video. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.